New at noon, bringing down the Berkman. This is a live look at the Berkman 2 Tower downtown, where demolition crews are taking the eyesore down piece by piece. Thank you for joining us. Work officially started one hour ago when the first cut was made. Once the structure is down, developers hope to build 300 new apartments and 40 townhomes, along with a possible grocery store in its place. Brittany Muller is live downtown. Brittany? Scott, we watched as the machine took a bite out of the structure. Now it could take up to 120 days to complete demolition, but it really all depends on weather. And crews use this high reach excavator to tear down a pillar on the Berkman 2 tower within the hour. It's a slow process because of the hydraulics needed to charge and for safety reasons. Councilman Gaffney says with the tragic loss of a life that happened here in 2007, they want to make sure no other accidents do not happen while demolishing the structure. That's why they decided not to implode it. Using this excavator comes with a $1 million price tag that is being fronted by the property's new owner, the Jacksonville Riverfront Revitalization. It says crews will first work on tearing down the side of the Berkman Plaza One. Once we can get rid of this nuisance, this black, this construction, destruction piece that's been here for 13 years with bad memories. I think you'll see the city start moving in the right direction. We saw it shooting out water without yeah. water. That's uh, part of the dust suppression system. Basically, as the concrete gets crushed, you know, it creates a lot of dust. So they actually start as they're actually biting off the pieces to keep the dust down. Crews say the excavator will need preventative maintenance tomorrow, and then the work will continue next week. Of course, we will keep you updated. Reporting live this afternoon from downtown Jacksonville, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.